Hey there, it's Mark. Here we have the 2020 M case assortment of Hot Wheels basic cars. That's new for 2020. I think there might be four new models in this case. This is a new model. So new models have this information on the back and on the USA packages. I'm pausing it. You can read it and time's up. Another new for 20. Now, is this one new to this case? There you go. Another new for 2020 model. New to this case, first appearance. We've already seen three of the new models. There is the fourth. Is it new or is it not? I almost want to open it up from the bottom because the tape busted. And it's almost like uh, I could just pop it open right now. It, it has not been retaped. To be honest, I, if, I, I would have been tempted to retape it myself, but thankfully it was not retaped. This way, nobody can think, oh, there's funny business because the case has been retaped. Uh, it, I, most, most people do not retape cases. Okay? I, don't, I don't worry about it too much, especially, especially when I have other things that I could uh, worry about more. Let's see, what do we have here? First three out of the case, you have the 70 Volkswagen Baja Bug, Roger Dodger. Everybody's really loving the steampunk graphics. Here you have the 65 Ford Galaxy. If you happen to find this one with rubber tires and Spectra Flame paint, that is the super treasure hunt in the case. It looks just like this, but it has rubber tires. That's the super. This is the regular issue car. Mass produced. The super treasure hunt is not mass produced. It is not in every case. Clip rod. And here you have the Dodge Charger Drift. Underneath, you have the Baja truck with the nice graphics. Nice to see that uh, model back in the assortment. And that one does have a light bar poking up through the roof. Here you have Rip Rod. Rip Rod! Yep, he was in the Hot Wheels cartoons. This one's new, 89 Mazda Savannah RX-7. FC35, that's quite a name. There you have the new for 2020. Got things in the way. Why don't you hold it down for me, would you? Uh, we'll look at this now. Well, we'll look at this in a second. We'll get this out of the way real quick. Tricera truck, fun stuff for the kids. It's in the Street Beast series. Man, look at all those dots, man. That's a lot of graphics. They do a pretty good job of giving it a different appearance each time they release the Tricera truck. Now let's go ahead and take a look. This is a new model. So new models have this information on the back and on the USA packages. I'm pausing it. You can read it and time's up. Pretty simple, nothing special, just like a regular car would be. I don't see any graphics. So that means we're probably going to have printing on the front. <laughs> no. Oh yeah. Headlights. You can barely see them. Printing on the front. Let me get my wrist straight so I don't tweak it. And you do have tail light decorations. That's new for 2020. I think there might be four new models in this case. Pretty uh, heavy. Now see this one here, GeoTerra. Has a spider on there. Oh, is that a spider? Yeah, I think it's a spider. Now see, it says new for 2020. But this is recolored. It's already had another color. It's not new to this case, but it still has the information on the back because it is a new model. This one as well. You have the 2019 Kia Stinger GT. It actually appeared in the last case assortment. So it was new in the L case. And the one we're unboxing right now is the M case. There's Batmobile. I talked about those wheels over on Mr. Gru's if you want to check it out. Yep, they look new, but uh, guess what? They're not new. And since I just showed that real quick, we go. You, if you tune in regularly, you've seen it in the last month anyways. Another new for 20. Now, is this one new to this case? It's the first appearance in the basics, the Astana Hotto. And it's for the Netflix Fast and Furious. It's... it's for the Fast and Furious Spy Racers movie, or cartoons on Netflix. Have a look at that. Uh, I guess that's her. 
Wait, Astana Haro. So I guess that would be her name, and then they give it to the car? I'm not sure. I don't watch the show. I don't know. Maybe it says something on the back if it's her name or not. Layla. No, her name's Layla. See? I'm glad I looked. And now you get the information on the back as well on these USA packages. Uh, you caught up? Okay. We'll keep going. I'm actually going to talk about this on Mr. Grooves for sure. I'm going to show this car. So if you want to subscribe to Mr. Grooves, that would be great. Land Rover Defender 90 was a new model in the last case. So now it's carrying over to this case. Alpine A110 Cup or Alpine, however you want to say it. I showed the back in the last case. Let's keep moving. I don't want to drag it on too long. Batmobile license, DC Batmobile. Not like the Governor, which looks like a Batmobile, but that's a Hot Wheels creation. The Governor. So this is pretty cool, man. This is this is this is chrome. It's a dark chrome. Wow, that looks pretty awesome. That looks pretty cool. Batmobile. Here you have the 92 Ford Mustang. Part of the art car series. And another TV series, Batmobile. Two Batmobiles. And the 2010 Chevy Impala. I was stalling. Can you tell? There you have the HW Armored Truck. No longer has the opening doors in the back. Corvette C7 Z06. Headlight decorations. Tail light decorations. Oh yeah, you can see the Corvette uh, wings in the middle there too. Let's see, what else do we have? Oh, oh, maybe, 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 maybe not. It's a regular issue. Lovely car, fantastic graphics. Uh, just in time for Halloween. 65 Ford Galaxy, 17 Lamborghini Urus, there you go, another new for 2020 model, new to this case, first appearance, and just taking a quick look to see if they're the same, yeah, it looked to be the same, I didn't see any errors, nothing uh, out of place, we'll look up close now, oh, this one has a dot on the side, that's, that's not a tampo, and here's the front end decorations, usually licensed cars, get decorations in the front and the rear and we'll take a look at the back and go I messed up with my stack uh, anyways Corvette C7 Z06 another clip rod and another Land Rover Defender for the clip rod they did put the Hot Wheels logo for the clip that's kind of a nice touch another rip rod this one right here 89 Mazda Savannah RX 7 FC 35 did I show this one already uh, yes uh, yes I did as a matter of fact another pedal to metal I forget I'm kind of thinking about what I'm gonna say ahead and other things and then I forget that I show that car already 49 mark you know we haven't seen this car in like seven years back in the assortment it's nice when some old classics well it's not classic but it's nice when some older cars show back up and we haven't seen them for a while. 49 Merc. And no graphics on the rear. They got it on the top and on the sides. I'm going to guess it's part of the Flame series. What do you think? HW Flames. Let's see if we can see a base code for the case. N23. N23 is the production code. These cars were made the 23rd week of 2020. Another Astana Haro. And I took a look at this, this car right here, the 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302. Took a look at this one on Mr. Grooves. It has those wheels too, as a matter of fact. I wasn't going to open it up, and I, I couldn't resist. I had to open it up. And check it out. It has a windshield deco right there. It has a windshield deco. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> Try to get the light right on there. There's a windshield deco right there. See it? Okay. Okay, thank you for helping. We're going to move on. Another 2019 Kia Stinger GT. Now, why do they put them in multiple cases? Well, you know, it's a it's a, an assortment for retail. 92 BMW BM3 with police decorations. And you have the 42 Willys MB Jeep. 
I'd really like to get some type of uh, feature on track time or on race screws that would be able to showcase the off-road type cars more. And it's still something that I would like to do. And I am making plans at the moment. I wanted to give you a shot to see the other decorations on this car. Mm, yeah, I thought it, I thought it had a blemish, but no, it's all right. Yeah, let's see what's on the bottom of the case. We've already seen three of the new models. There is the fourth. Typically, there's only like about three new models per case, but this time there's four. And that one is Surf's Up as part of the Tokyo 2020 series. Mattel's been having these models on skateboards, but this guy, he's riding a wave. Check it out. They got the wave. He's on his surfboard and he's riding a wave. I think that's kind of cool. Fun stuff. Some people don't like it. I think it's pretty cool. Hmm. I wonder if the guy comes off. Usually, usually you can pop the guy off. It looks like, I hope you weren't, I hope that, like, anyways. It looks like you can pop his feet off of the base there. There's a look at this base. Well, I'll check it out. They, in 23, and they gave it that uh, frosted type color. And let's see what else we have down here. We have a speed driver. It's a new model this year. Uh, I don't know. It's supposed to be like a tool again, but um, it, it's not for me. I, I, I don't like to disc models because, you know, some people like it. Some people don't. It's okay. Turbo Rooster and another HW Armored Truck. Custom 18 Ford Mustang GT. Pretty nice graphics. Another, now I'm glad I got two in this case, 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302, because I opened up the one that was in the last case. And generally, as a general rule, another Alpine, as a general rule, you kind of don't want to open the first one you find because you never know if it's going to be a variation, right? <laughs> so you kind of hold off, but I couldn't resist. Tesla Model 3, and there's Turbo Charge. Took a little break, and now Turbo Charged is back. Oh yeah, Turbo Charge. So it's part of the Bone Shaker family of Hot Wheels models. There's the Turbo in the back. 91 Mazda MX-5 Miata. Tail light decos. And in the front as well. This uh, 19 Ford Ranger Raptors, very nice looking. Glad to see it in the Hot Wheels lineup. Matchbox has their ring, uh, Raptor as well. 52 Chevy, Mighty Max Garage. Nice weather treatment. Been sitting in the barn, barnyard find. There you have Forward Force. If, if there was a car that looked like a track car, uh, that's this one. This one definitely looks like it could be a track car. And as a matter of fact, look, they put the track loop symbol right there. Track loop symbol right there. And on the base, right here, they have right to the right of the N23, there's a track loop symbol right there as well. 62 Chevy pickup. Pretty interesting color. It's an enamel, olive drab type color, I guess. Linster prototype. X-ray body. Here you have the 73 Falcon XB. Uh, Ozzy's probably happy to see another uh, uh, Australian car back in the mix. Seems like it's been a while. Not, not, not that I keep track. There's another 52 Chevy and another Forward Force. Not that I keep track of every car, or every release. Uh, it's too much. There's so much. Plus, I collect more than one brand, so uh, I can't keep track. Uh, Moto Wing. Plus, I got other things to do, too, not just collect toy cars. Roger Dodger, another Roger Dodger, and another 91 Mazda MX-5 Miata. Did I, oh, you know what, just done on me. I did not show the back of Surf's Up, but it does not have any special text. It is licensed, because it's an Olympic model. Oh, I guess there it is. It was so, it was so tiny that I didn't even notice it. You got it? Okay. I'm glad I I'm glad I remembered right now. Instead of being done with the video and publish it and then people say, Hey, you didn't show it. 
I said, man, you're right, I didn't. And this one, Moto Wing, at first I thought that was a surfboard. When I first showed it uh, earlier this year or last year, but Moto Wing, uh, it's actually the wing to an airplane. So, you know, something creative. Is that being polite? Yeah, that's being polite. Moto Rod. Moto Ride. Mod, wait. My motor got a motor on my head. Mod Rod. Pretty cool model. People are liking this one. It's not going to take over the Bone Shaker in popularity. Bone Shaker probably has 30 releases since it's been, uh, since it came to the Hot Wheels lineup. Tesla Model S. Nice regular blue color. Tail lights. I might have showed it the first time. That might be the second one in the case. And Sand Blaster. This is a, even though it has the name Sand Blaster, it is actually, I think, a Chevy truck. We'll look on the back real quick just to see. I just know it is licensed. Oh, Ford. It's a, uh, based on a Ford model. I forget which one, but I just have to remember that it's licensed so they don't uh, accidentally say it's fantasy again. Donut Drifter. Definitely colors intended for a certain audience, huh? It's got sprinkles and it's got colorful colors. Get it? Slide kick because the door opens. You slide the door. No, you pull this back and then the door slides open. I showed that once on Mr. Groove, so I'm not going to make another video on it. Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect back in the assortment. And I'll probably be talking about this car too. Let me see a slide kick says something on the back about it sliding open yeah see there's the special feature you pull on the back and then the side slides open there used to be a hot wheels model called slide side kick i might come back i don't know alpha pursuit this was new in the last case i really like the colors and, and it's you definitely can tell it's a track car but i like the color presentation nice nice uh choice of colors and you can see the blue there Part of the blue interior is probably part of those blue parts there as well. I do not chop up my cars and I'm not going to uh, uh, take the time to cut that open to see if the parts are as I say. There were other people that used to do it on YouTube. Uh, he hasn't done it in a while. An Australian guy. Fast Feline Tokyo 2020. Oh yeah, I guess what? Another Tokyo car in green. I think I've seen this one in a multi-pack before it showed up here in the singles. There, there, that's one right there. Custom Ford Maverick. Is it new or is it not? Custom Ford Maverick. It's not. Uh, even though it's like brand new, I think they're not calling it a new model because it's kind of, they had an 80s, 80s, 80s slash S generic. Uh, Pontiac Firebird in the Hot Wheels lineup. So maybe because it's kind of like a, a new tooling from that, maybe it doesn't get the new model's designation. I'm only guessing. I'm not sure. But you know, here's a Hot Wheels logo. Oh, we did get a Hot Wheels logo. Got the Pontiac uh, logo right there. Firebird? Which one is it? Firebird right there? I almost said Trans Am. That's why I had to look. Has a couple imprints. And there's your Firebird on the hood. Man, it's, it is really faint. It is small. Not much in the decos, but interesting. No new models because I guess I guess it's just a modification of tooling. There you go. Another Baja Bug. And the last three, another Tokyo car. Oh, that one's nice. Here you have the Tokyo 2020. Mountain Mauler. This guy is actually pretty fast on the track. When I did the a track time with the uh, double loop, whatever it's called, 69 Chevy pickup, another one. Uh, that car was fast. I'll, I'll give you a link at the end. 52 Hudson Hornet in purple. A nice, nice car. People are liking to collect this car. Okay, just a few more things. By the way, if you can hear my air conditioner going, yeah, I got my air conditioner on. I'm not going to turn it off because if I turn it off, then all the hot, all the pipes and stuff are going to heat up. And then it's just going to blow hot air in here until I get it cooled off again. So sorry about the background noise. 
There you have the Circle Flame logo. So yes, this is the basic treasure hunt of the case. And in the back, it does have special text letting you know that you found a basic treasure hunt. By the way, this case code, all, I mean, for this M case, all of the cars had N23 on the base. That's the 23rd week of 2020. It was produced. And I checked all of the cars. All of the cars have N23. And all of them belong in the M case. I had no abnormalities with any uh, strange cars showing up that are not supposed to be in there a few months old. You know, another thing about this, I was uh, putting the cars back in and I always put them side by side to look for errors or variations. And it's like, what is in the back seat of the 65 Ford Galaxy? You can't, I don't want to open this up. See right there, it's all blocked. You can't, you can't even see through there. They have some big honking thing in there. There you go, if I get it like this, maybe a little light. See that's solid in there. It's not like it's a roll bar. Uh, I don't know, it's very strange. Is that gonna be some cheap way that they start doing the roll bars to where it's a big solid piece of plastic? I don't know. And this one, I told you I already did a video for talking about these wheels, so I'll give you that link. I will be doing this car, will appear on Mr. Groove's. I will be doing a follow-up video with this model, and uh, uh, definitely this one right here. Here you have the Ford Transit Connect, and I will be doing a follow-up video on this one. I have a Casting Changes playlist on Mr. Groove's. That's where that Ford Transit Connect's gonna go. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Bye bye.